So TIP3 mutation, you know, is uh, a mutation which, if in present, uh, leads to resistance to uh, chemotherapy. And so TIP3 and deletion 17P, deletion 17P is tested by fish analysis, and TIP53 mutation is assessed by molecular studies. But we, what we and others have shown that both of them, if one or both are present, they have equally important implications in terms of the treatment management that we should not use chemoimmunotherapy for these patients for CLL. At the same time, uh, the new data which is emerging seems to suggest that some of the time-limited target therapy approaches such as venetoclax plus or venetuzumab may not lead to durable long-term remissions if a patient has either a TP53 mutation or deletion 17P by fish. So, so I think knowing this aspect for individual patient is very important so you can tailor your therapy. Our current recommendations would be to use a lifelong BTK inhibitor such as drugs such as ibrutinib or a calabrutinib or zonubrutinib when it gets approved in the United States for CLL to use these drugs long term for these patients. So I think knowing this is very important as you plan therapy for your patients for CLL.